of the main features of the Haggadah is the four sons. We read about the four sons during Pesach night, during the Seder. The four sons is, are the wise son, the wicked son, the simple son, and the son that does not yet know how to ask. The Chacham, the Rasha, the Tam, and the She'en Yedei Elishal. And these four sons represent the Jewish people. The Jewish people are made up of the four sons. And they're the wise sons in, in the Jewish people, the wicked sons, the simple ones, and the one son that does not even know what to ask, does not even appreciate the traditions that we are able to experience. And the son, that son walks into the Seder and is completely overwhelmed and does not know what to ask. But this teaches us a powerful lesson that everybody has a seat at the Seder table. No one should say, this is only for the elite. I was not born religious. I did not grow up with Pesach. This is not for me. Everybody has a seat at the, the Seder table. The wise son down to the son that does not yet even know how to ask. But I want to point out something else. The wise son opens up with a question. And he says, What are all these commandments and statutes that God has commanded you? And there's a response to go ahead and tell the wise son. But it would seem a little odd that the wise son, the son that represents wisdom, that represents depth and Torah knowledge, is the son that is asking a question. He should come with a speech, a sermon, a drash, something to say over. Why is the wise son asking a question when he should, should have the answers? And this teaches us a powerful lesson in general about Judaism, but specifically about the Seder night. And that is we are always supposed to ask questions. No question is a bad question. We encourage questions. We encourage a dialogue. This is not blind faith. We want to communicate with others about the meaning of God and uh, the beauty of Torah and Judaism. Even the wisest one amongst us all, the wise son, asks a question on the Seder night. We should always seek answers to our questions. We should never say, ah, that's not worthy to ask. As we were taught in Pirkei Avos, below Habayish and Lomed, the shy one does not learn because he does not ask questions. We must always seek to grow to the next level. And that is only going to be achieved by asking the right questions. Or not the best questions necessarily, but asking a question nonetheless. We encourage that on the Seder night. And that should go ahead and be a springboard for future growth. But the Seder night is so meaningful that the Seder night is a time that one can go ahead and delve into the rich experience of the Jewish people, beginning with the Exodus from Egypt until this very day in 2013. Folks, we have the Seder night once a year, two nights in a row here in the diaspora, but once a year. Let us take advantage of this momentous night and always remember to ask a question. I wish everybody a happy and healthy Pesach.